started to follow someone back when they said, oh, oh, hey, Instagram, it's me, T, from the Patterson's taking the train to the Hey, today is Wednesday. That makes it uh, World Politics Day. I'm in a world kind of politics, well, world place, because this is Maker's Landing I'm at right now, where the, the big cruise ships docking over there, and then they do all kinds of stuff, you know, whatever. Anyway, it's setting up for, because we have a big day today, well, big day tomorrow, so we have to set up today. That's not what I'm talking to you about. Uh, this is a world politics day, like I said, you know, because yesterday, Tuesday, was U.S. politics. On Mondays, is me day. I talk about myself. Thursday is tomorrow. Audio drama day. We talk about things audio drama. Uh, Friday is a wrap of the week. And uh, Saturday and Sunday is poof, whatever. Comes to my little brain, right? So world politics, look, let me go back a little while. You know, when, when this first uh, whole thing in the, in the Mediterranean, the, the, the Gaza... Uh, Israeli uh, thing, and uh, the U.S. had the, these ships there, you know. In fact, the whole place the, at the Mediterranean, it was all cluttered with, <laughs> with military stuff, you know. And uh, I was concerned back then because, you know, I was concerned because at the same time, that's all the stuff that was happening in the, in the, in the, in the Seychelles, the, the, the whole reading, the whole region, you know, with, with the King of Files and Mali, and, uh, and that they were... Uh, you know, they were doing their thing, right? So I was afraid they were going to turn those guns around, you know, to the to, to Moroccan side and do something, right? But you have to have that concern because, you know, throughout the history of that of, of Africa, what they do is they, they've always um, you know, beat up on Africa, you know. I mean, they steal the resources, steal everything, you know what I mean? And so now that things are happening in Africa, uh, you know, I, you know, I think we've got to be wary, which, is, which makes a reparations a little bit more interesting. Because, you know, the current, there's always been reparations things happening around. But this current movement that started about, I say about 2016, I'm talking about the current alliteration that's basically the United States was pushing, pushing. And then, then you had uh, African countries who always been, they start pushing. So it's like now the whole reparations argument is coming from a bunch of different places, you know. And so this puts the, um, the powers that were, I'm saying were, I'm, I'm in the future already. Powers that were at little little peril, perilous. They can't get their minerals. They can't get their stuff to make their little guided systems and their and you know the the bombies and all the rest of that stuff. So it's going to be a little a real interesting the next few years. See what happens. And then they said, oh, they're going to be a nuclear war. Well, you know, hey, don't let atomic energy you know interfere with what you have to do. What I'm trying to say. If they're going to do what they're going to do, they're going to continue to do what they're going to do. So what we have to do is do what we have to do. So, you know, keep on pushing rep reparations. Because once you get that money, think about it. If the U.S. has money, or the, 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 the American Africans, as I call us, that, as I've updated ourselves, you know, they said, but I heard, I heard the, uh, other people said, it. yeah, but I said it also. Huh? You can document when I first started saying that. That's not the point. The first doesn't mean anything. Who makes it popular? That's the whole thing. When it becomes... Popular. That's what I'm trying to say. A lot of things have been in the air for a long time. Pan-Africanism, uh, reparation. A lot of stuff has been in the air for a long time. The proper thing that we should call ourselves <laughs> wherever we are on the planet. But it's whoever, the, 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 they call it the face of it, the poster child, whatever. That's what gets, when it, when it gets into the popular lexicon. Ooh, the brother said a big word. I wonder if he knows what it means. The point is, you know, when they make a popular song or popular movie, and, they, and it's, it's just it's the, uh, it's the it's the old synapse in there, then that's when it then it, that's when it takes off, you know. Like I love to say colonizer now because I got that from Black Panther movie. People always said that. You know, people always said that, but to me, it hit it it hit a, a, more, a bigger populace, and people should be staying that instead of uh, I shouldn't say that. See the whole white supremacy. They have problems with the whole white supremacy thing, you know. Hey. They colonize your mind. They didn't white supremacy your mind. They colonize. You see what I'm saying? If you say, my mind is white supremacist, <laughs> don't sound right. My mind is colonized. I have to decolonize my, my mind. You can say, you can't say, well, you can't say what you do. I need to unwhite supremacist my mind. Uh, you know? So you got to get the right alliteration. You got to get the right words. You got to get the right circumstance. You got to get the right timing. It's everything. Okay? So we'll make it short today because there's this Instagram by the way. So let me stop it because I got stuff to do. All right? So I'll talk to you later. Uh, remember, tomorrow's audio drama day. I don't know what I'm going to say, but I'm going to say something. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.